Eddie Cruz. Well, I, uh, I'm getting on to the uh, brew date again. This is going to be sort of like a, a pimped out version of a, of, a, of a extract brew. So I've tried this one. It has a good malt backbone on it and not a lot of bitterness. And I'm using the Brew Enhancer too. What I am going to do to pimp it out, basically turn this into a golden ale, similar to the like the James Squire golden ale, or what's used to be on uh, available here where I live, um, called the Diggers golden ale. So what I'm going to do, I'm bringing some water to the boil, and then I'm going to dissolve this. I've got three liters of water, and and this. Um, Brew Enhancer 2. I'm going to add 15 grams of Amarillo hops and boil for 10 minutes and then throw in another 15 grams of Amarillo hops and then I'll turn the boil off and let both steep for another 10 minutes. And that should give um, sufficient sort of, of that really notorious orange flavour that you get from the Amarillo hops. And, um, I'll be using the New England IPA yeast, which does, I found, sort of accentuate um, a more fruity character as well. Yeah, why am I using three litres of water instead of two or one or whatnot? Basically to get better efficiency out of the hops. There is some, I'll try and find, um, try and find a link to where the level of, not the amount of sugars actually inhibits the effect of the alpha acids and the, and the hop oils from dispersing amongst the brew. So um, three litres with one kilo of sugars um, is, is going to be really strong, but um, it's, I, I, think it'll, I think I'll have a good balance there and be able to get a lot of hop flavours out of the hops and that's why I'm doing the 10-minute addition for the flavour and the flame out addition with the steeping for flavour and aroma. Okay, we've got a nice rolling boil. First lot of hops. And we'll let that go for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. Time to add the steeping hops. And we'll leave that another 10 minutes. That's the 10 minutes of steeping. I'll just let that drain before I top it up with the water. Just doing a bit of aerating for the wort. and the New England IPA yeast. All right, easy brew day, and should give us a pretty flavorful beer. Cheers.